Hello, welcome to a late morning edition of Mornings with Stanley. Got Stanley right here, Lucy's in the other room. Been a good morning, did some rowing, took the dogs for a walk, did some cleanup around the house, trying to keep the house straighter every day instead of letting it get messy. So, and did some reading. Anyway, it's been a good morning. I'm getting ready to go down to Fort Worth to see a Broadway musical at the Bass. So I'm meeting a friend who's driving up from Heiko. She should be there. She says she drives slow. It's a 50 minute drive and she left and we're an hour early. So I don't know. Or she's a little hour early. She's, anyway, you don't need to know. I need to get this read. I need to get Stanley out so I can do the reading. See if I can get this uploaded at least on Facebook before I leave. Maybe I can get it on both. This is Saturday of week 22, Knowledge of Jesus. As long as a religious education conceives of the Christian faith as a teaching about life, good teaching about life, even the best teaching about life, those who propagate it will remain as guides in Christ, but will never become parents in Christ. They have reduced the Christian faith to the word become word, capital W, become little w, a philosophy or a moralism. Until it becomes the word become flesh, it is less than the gospel. In that case, Christianity is a philosophy of life, a little more reasonable and better adapted to life than other philosophies. It cannot create life. It can only guide what has been created. If Christianity is a moralism directing life into moral channels, a little more moral and more consistently clear than other religions, then again, it is less than the gospel. It takes its place among other moralisms, the highest place, for it is the highest morality as a guide to life. But it cannot create life. It cannot be apparent in Christ. Somewhere along the way, knowledge about Jesus must turn into a knowledge of Jesus, a knowledge of him as personal Savior and Lord. This comes through repentance, through surrender, through receiving Christ into the heart and enthroning Christ there as Lord by faith. The moment that is done, life begins within. The religious education become a guide in Christ. Otherwise, it becomes salvation by process instead of salvation by a person. It will produce those who are wistful, but not witnesses. They are always on the way, but not on the capital W way. Here's our prayer for today. O oh Lord and Master of my heart and life, I thank you that when I know you, I know eternal. I know life eternal as a present possession and not merely as a future longing. I enter into life, for life has entered into me. I thank you. Thank you. Amen. And our affirmation for the day, my religious education will educate me beyond religion to a saving relationship to Jesus. Jesus is Lord.